Hey guys, this is Sundrops and I'm back with another recycle craft using paper towel or toilet paper rolls. You can make a cute little rainbow, which can be used as a rainbow just as it is, or you can use it as a decoration to add to your St. Patrick's Day. The, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, you could just use this. This pot of gold was made through recycled bottles, which you can see on one of my other videos. And then this little rainbow is also recycled using toilet paper rolls. So if you want to watch how to make this cute little rainbow, and keep watching and I'll show you guys how in just a minute. All right, so for this craft, you don't have to use this many colors, but I'm going to use red. This is red apple. Oops. All right, so for this craft, we are going to need the toilet paper roll. We're going to need, you don't have to use all these colors, but I'm using red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. And for the purple, I'm just going to mix a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the red and just to spruce it up a little I'm going to use some glitter glue so the first thing you're going to do is kind of smoosh your toilet paper roll and make a cut like a rainbow now you do want to cut the top part so it'll end up looking like a taco. So you got that taco looking. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I am going to go ahead and fold and fold this side. And as you can see, I am folding it so that it will stand kind of. It will eventually stand, or you could lean it against something, as you can see. It takes a little bit of uh, playing around with it for it to stand. But as you can see, it's standing without any help. It'll take a little couple minutes, you know, to flatten this out and make it so that you can stand it on its own. I plan on putting it between two of my pots of gold that I made in a previous craft for St. Patrick's Day and that's what I'm going to do with this. So I don't necessarily need it to stand straight up on its own. So the first thing you're going to do is you don't need very much paint for this craft. Now I'm only going to do one side of this. I am going to do both eventually but I'm just going to show you guys how I'm doing one side so I'm just pouring my little bit of paint that I'm going to need any green will do this one is a uh, bright green and the blue that I'm using is called cool blue now I'm going to put the blue next to the red because that's what I'm going to use to make my purple so, this is going to be pretty simple. I'm just doing the width of the paintbrush. And it's pretty hard to do it upside down, but you guys can take your time and do it neater than I am. took a little bit more time with my first one. Now I'm going to show you how to, I do the other colors. And we're going to go through those very quickly. Bish, 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 bish,
Okay, when it comes to the purple, I don't have any purple paint, so I'm just mixing a little bit of my blue and my red together. And that will be the purple that I use. Just like if you don't have any green on hand, you can always mix the yellow and the blue and it'll give you a shade of green. So there we have it. So that's my little rainbow. I'll do the same thing on this side. Let it dry. Then all we're going to do is outline it with this glitter glue. As soon as it dries, I'll be back. Okay, so here it is. It's nice and dry. And I will give you one little tip. If you haven't used glitter glue before, when you shake it, before you even start using this stuff, make sure that you try to make a small line on a scrap piece of paper or something because it will oftentimes have a bubble of air in there and then it'll squirt a big blob of glitter and it might mess up your creation. So I'm being really careful, although this really doesn't have to be that perfect, but I'm just putting a little line to separate the colors, as you can see. Once you use a little bit, like I said, make sure that before you start doing it, make sure it's going to come out in a straight line and not in a glob. I have ruined many, many things. because I didn't do that first and it became a glob of glitter like that. Hmm. So as much as I tried it has a little glob of glue there which I have found I'm just better off leaving it than trying to correct it. I uh, just need one more line and this craft will be done. It's a perfect little easy rainy day craft. Also a good craft for St. Patrick's Day. If you guys like this craft or any of the other crafts and videos, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And that way I can tell which kind of crafts I should be making. If you guys like the recycling ones more than the others, then I could just make more recycling crafts. Alright guys, so there you go. A cute, easy rainbow made out of toilet paper, tube, some paints, and some glitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alright guys, bye!